welcome to No Enemies Here, the show where it's better late than never. Yeah, that's that's the same. What do you want me to tell you? Uh, stuff happened, it's all taken care of now, and uh, I'm tired. Eh? But that's it. So, you know what I'm going to do this episode? I'm going to um, show you all the little clips and the music I've done for contributors and uh, it's pretty cool. I look at it again. I, I did this a, a, a while back, excuse me, um, a couple of years ago. And um, oh yeah, I, I, I guess I had time. Eh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little montage. All right. So what's happening? This is what's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. You wanna know what's happening? This is what's happening. Worthing to publishing, Iwo Jima. 1945 Kickstarter, last 96 hours, that's like three, four days, last four days. So back it on uh, Kickstarter, Worthington is really a formidable foe now. Formidable foe! Also, this year, the San Diego Histcon Summit Convention. To be held in San Diego, November 8th to 11, And will be held, again, at the SES Portuguese Hall of San Diego in beautiful Point Loma. Two blocks from the harbor, close to the airport, and surrounded by delicious places to eat. You can read more about the venue and last year's convention here. Go on SD Histcon website and you're gonna have this but i just want you to know the amount of people that harold has uh some of the attendees ha ha happening here so kevin bertram gene billingsley harold buchanan dan bullock jason carr liz davidson anata gupta uh, candace harris kai jensen mark johnson um sam london that's with the new game with the dice there i forget what it's called tactical something uh, Jason Matthews, Roger Miller, uh, Alexander Klein, and, and Grant Little Ketchup from the Players Aid. They're going to be there. Uh, more Suckling, David Thompson, for God's sakes, man. Uh, Dan Turot, Space Biff, okay. Uh, Cole Worley, and, yeah, and more. So uh, this is a. Uh, uh, four days of gaming, man. Friday through Monday. Holy moly. Okay, so again, uh, November 8th to uh, 11th. And registration for the con will open August 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern slash 10 a.m. Oh, all right. Yeah, I get it. So Eastern is going to open up at 10. Right? All right. And Knight's Most Wanted People. Uh, Noble Knight wants your squad leader. Huh? Your dance squad leader. Clear, clear, uh, clear, critical Hit, Multiman Publishing, and Wild Bill Wilder and more. They want it. They're going to pay cash. And uh, give them a buzz. You never know. You might be surprised at what they're going to offer. And other than that, um, it's extremely hot outside, extremely humid. It's basically disgusting. Um, so here in, in, in uh, Quebec, um, I'm about an hour from Montreal. Um, Montreal weather, it's like the only time you can come here and really enjoy yourself, well, depends, is uh, spring and autumn. But... If you want to come here in Quebec, go visit Quebec City in the winter. It's a gorgeous place. It, um, it's just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, well, that's what it is. So, with that said, I will prepare to commence the show. Ciao. Here at Noble Knight Games, we've been carefully growing the world's largest selection of tabletop games going on 25 years now. From fresh pick new releases to finely aged vintage classics and hard to find imports, you can buy, sell, trade, and play with us at our store in Fitchburg, Wisconsin. 
or shop online 24-7 from anywhere in the world, just like nature intended. Growing fresh daily at Noble Night Games. GMT's monthly update. Uh, hold, let me check my volume. Always, always, always. Always, always low. And no, it's actually good. Well, who knew? Before I start this GMT update, I just was reminded of a story because there's a fly that keeps flying real nice and slow, just at my eye level now. And it's really pissing me off. Anyways. Once I was practicing marimba, that's uh, an instrument in the percussion family, like a big, huge xylophone, and I was a marimba performer. And um, I had a bird, and I don't keep birds in a cage. If I have it, I'll have the cage open all the time, so he knows that's a safe spot, and when he wants to come out, he comes out. And it was a, a parakeet, a budgie, and I called him mozi. Like Mozart, Mozi, huh? like you. Anyways, uh, I remember I was practicing a um, four-voice fugue on marimba <clears throat> by Bach. And um, I mean, if you don't have any rhythm, you'll, you'll never play this, right? Uh, your sense of rhythm needs to be pretty good. So, anyways. So Mozi sees me playing, and he was always, always excited every time I played marimba. But this piece was really difficult, and I had a competition to do. And Mozi comes out and starts flying around my head as I'm practicing, and cheep, cheep, cheep. But he's flying around rhythmically perfect. So fwa, 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 fwa. It was perfect. Tick, 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 tick. And I remember just putting my mallets down, and closing my eyes, quack, 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 and just snapping him right out of the air. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Uh, my timing was to say perfect is an understatement. But anyways, okay, here we go with GMT's uh, monthly update. Uh, here we go, and uh, Gene congratulates all the designers that won the CSR awards. So there was Downfall, Plantagenet, The Battles of White Plain, and Mr. President. Four GMT games, four CSRs. Ah, look at that. Oh, there's one missing. There's Mark Sivinich. For uh, the James F. Dunnigan Award for Playability and Design. Yes, I should remember that because I put that together, but I don't. Because once I do something and it's gone and finished, I don't remember it anymore. It's like my hard drive is full. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so they have Shackles, five Shackles games now. Uh, in the warehouse, Napoleon, 1806, 1807, 1815, these are all Napoleon, Border States, and Saladin, or Saladin. All right, and that's that. Um, he talks about Mark Herman's new book, War Games, according to Mark. It's going to the printer in late July. Proofing is finished, and Justin is in the final staging Stages, excuse me, of prepping before sending Mark's book to the printer. All right, okay. Counter trays are back in stock. Yep, they're popular, he says, and uh, they receive 20,000 more counter trays along with the last game shipments. So that's going to last them four to six months. 20,000 counter trays going to last four to six months. What's the matter with us? Are we nuts or something for counter trades? Bloody hey. You know what I'm saying? 
check out uh, I Napoleon by Ted Racer, you know, by now, but, thing, but this is what's shipping now. Downfall Mountain Map 3 inch box second printing. I Napoleon, as I said, and Virgin Queen, and uh, what's this one here? This is Skies Above the Reich. It's a game by uh, Jerry White and Mark Astad. Get it while it's hot. It's shipping now. Uh, we the next shipment, they expect to arrive in the first week of August, is, let's see here, it's uh, Next War Iran, Normandy 44, 4th Printing, and Normandy 44 Mounted Map, plus a 3-inch box. 3-inch uh, box. Ermun uh, Lutman, the Plum Island Horror, gets some great press. He was recognized in the news last week. NPR released a list of the best games of 2024 so far. And as you might imagine, the list was dominated by computer and console games. But five outstanding board games made their list, including uh, the Plum Island Horror. And he says congratulations to... Herman, Ken, Jason, and all the team. Eh, Plum Island Horror. Also, there's a new short two-player scenario for Conquest and Consequence. This is a Craig Besink game and Martin Radsveld. So they developed a short two-player scenario called uh, CNC Japan Strikes. All right, let's start for that. And this month's Box back sneak peek is Fields of Fire Deluxe Edition by Ben Ho. Get it while it's hot because if it ain't hot, I mean, if it ain't hot, if it's hot, you ain't gonna get it. And plus, if if you just put a little effort into learning this game, they say because I haven't played one yet, they say that this is an immersive ex solo experience with many decisions to be made huh that's all so play testers wanted for let's see here jeff horger is asking for play testers for three upcoming track packs for our racing game okay and for all three games uh, these are for all of his and his wife's game apocalypse road grand prix and thunder rally go on the gmt website click the little clicky thing and they're still looking for a few good citizens to help out with the Plum Island Horror. More of a bad thing. Printable playtest kits are very easy to assemble, so join in. Go on the GMT site and clicky the clicky thing. All right, clicky the clicky thing. So, uh, okay, they have designer interviews. Uh, pushing cardboard. The, is uh, interviewing Jason Carr. He's the director of development at GMT Games. The gentlemen of the Players Aid are interviewing Mark Miklos, designer of Battles of the American Revolution series. Mesa de Guerra is Richard Garfield, interviewing Richard Garfield, uh, designer of Founders of Rivik. El War Gamer Novato interviews Ralph Shelton, designer of Purgatorio. A legendary Tactics interviews VPJ Arpinen, designer of Order and Opportunity. And Legendary Tactics, that fantastic Canadian channel, is interviewing Matthias Kramer, designer of Lenin's Legacy. Eh, come on. Okay, so today's new. P500 edition. There's a House Divided Designer edition. Eh, Frank Chadwick's game. Look at that. I love that cover. Eh, love it. Love it. Italy 43. I'm assuming this is a Mark Simonich game. And uh, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. He chooses the same artist all the time. So there's a 2024 replacement counter sheet. Also, a World at War supplement counters. Yeah, that's going to weigh 10 pounds. And plus, 
a jest of Robin Hood, second printing. It just happened. People snatched it up. So Freaky Freddy Fred Serval is freaking amazing. Then next war, India, Pakistan, second printing. All right. So, yeah. So, okay, let's go a little bit more into detail in A House Divided. This, this is Frank Chadwick's A House Divided. The American Civil War, 1861-1865, designer edition. So, it's... Uh, Let's gamers play the entire American Civil War with a single session. Could you imagine? It took them four years. It's going to take you uh, an evening. Um, so, we will repeat play. That, yeah, okay, so, and go on the site. Click on the, uh, the, the, the banner. Italy 43. Mark Semenich. Um, Mark is throwing a free time. What? Mark is throwing his free time and energy into designing more great games for us to play. I, for one, am grateful as I love Mark's designs. Okay, so it's Italy 43, two-player game. U.S. 5th Army advances from Naples to the Gustav Line in 43. The game picks up where Salerno 43 left off. They're going north. All right, so it covers the period uh, from October 2nd to, to December 31st, 1943. Like I said... Adjust of Robin Hood, second printing. That's insane. And that's about it for that. So, okay. So, San Diego Histcon. Okay, August 8th to 11th for the second straight year. SD Hist will put on a convention at the U.S. Naval War College Museum in Newport, Rhode Island. Okay, tickets are extremely limited. They'll go on sale April 6th at noon. That means it, it happened already. All right, so check it out. There's a historic fest. So this is his Kansas City uh, Historical Game Festival. So that's happening August 15th to 18th. And uh, they're playing lots of games here. Uh, Mitchell Land will be in attendance. And uh, don't miss drinks with the designer. It'll take place a Friday evening on the rooftop bar. Isn't that a blast? That's fantastic. All right. So there's also the Czech Consum Con 2024. It's in Prague. And it's the 27th to the 29th of September. Then the World Series of board gaming september 22nd to 26 2024 and the fall weekend at the warehouse october this is a gmt october 17th to 20th 2024 so it's at the sequoia inn get all your information 96 bucks for a room wow i don't find that expensive <laughs> check it out check it out and also War and Strategy Games Convention OCCON. I'm assuming this is in Auckland. Yes, it is. From the 26th to the 28th of October 2024. Check it out. I've always wanted to go to what is it, New Zealand? OCCON. Is that New Zealand? Auckland? Is it? Someone help me. All right. And um, and that's about it. All right, so this was nice and short and sweet and lovely. I like when they're short and sweet, you know. Makes, uh, makes me ramble more. So with that said, that's the GMT July update for 2024. <laughs> Here we go with the crux of the show. Three minute board games. Two videos this week, Red Dust Rebellion and Unboxing. By the way, the designer is the creator of this website, uh, this YouTube channel, okay? And Access and Allies Anniversary Edition in about, obviously, three minutes. Check it out. Agility Snips Gaming Table, two videos, both on the same subject, and it is 
I Napoleon by Ted Racer, published by GMT. So, learning the game, and uh, that's take two, part five, take two, part six. And they're about uh, 40 minutes each. Good length. Already, Avard Wolf Slayer has more than two videos, but I'm putting the live video, so it's Connor Clipping episode 182. Death versus breath in war games. All right. Plus the chit show with Dan and Artie. I'm Dan. Our favorite war game publishers. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, I, I forgot uh, a couple. That's for sure. Because uh, I was surprised uh, by the subject matter. And uh, that's the way Artie likes it. To surprise me. ASL Scenario Archives, one video, IR-105, Steamroller Redux. You got it. <clears throat> Assault Games, Sit Rep, July 2024, with Wolfgang Klein, owner of Assault Games. Check it out. The Chief and Bonding with Board Games and RPGs has two videos unboxing tales from the loop out of time freely games and the walking dead the amc rpg number 13 going rogue free league actual co-op play look at chief chief's laughing he's always laughing he's a great great uh, good humor man the man famously known as Callendale and enrico viglino has one video this week and it's summer storm either 12 or 1-2. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at it. Eh, you blame me. I'm gonna tell you, man. Things happen. Charlie Charles Latora, four videos, and it's mail call. Thanks, Sir Hex. You are an exceptional individual. Plus, simple breakfast. Eggs, chorizo, cheese, sourdough with rosemary. That's not simple. That is a... A, 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 a phantasmagoric amount of flavors. You got them. And you got eggs and chorizo. Oh, yeah, sure. I would stop there with cheese. No, that's good. Sourdough with rosemary. I like it. But I don't think the rosemary goes with the chorizo. That's all I'm saying, Charlie. That's all I'm saying. Then more minis ready for mini mark pa paint challenge here. 55. Totally ready. Equals plus or minus 155. You really? And Avalon here, Avalon Hill, Air Assault on Crete. The drop zones for the Falchim Jäger have been dot dot dot. Check it out on Charles at the Worst Channel. The Boss, Clark Commando 1983, just got back from Concept Expo and he's got two videos snapshot in time of Concept Expo and reflections on Concept Expo. 2024 on the boss's channel clark amando 1983 compass games has one video and it's compass games town hall episode 92 with bill thomas dad versus son four videos panzer grenadier all of them the kokoda campaign and it's an introductory scenario and we start at 3 15 and we end at four o'clock so that's four videos. Holy moly, that's uh, an intense uh, 45 minutes, I should say. Yeah, yeah, all right. Dave of Dave's Gaming Cave has three videos, two of them on the same subject, tally-ho. Uh, phase two, mission five, Aldertag, and also mission six on Vassal, I guess. And then he plays Skies Above the Reich, 1942, mission number one. Diagonal move, two videos. Iron blood, snow and mud. Overview example of play. Plus, the lamps are going out. An unboxing on diagonal moves. Flying Pig Games has taken a look at their Italian theater of old school tactical. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. It'd be because it's Italian. On Flying Big Games. The Weed of the Gamer's Closet. Two videos. Unboxing Warcraft, the board game, the expansion set. 
Plus unboxing Horrified, World of Monsters. Why, why do we want to play games that scare the crap out of us or, or that disturb us? You know what I'm saying? Gaming with Earl the Shiv Bickford. That's right, Earl the Shiv Bickford. Three videos, Game Collection Part 13 and World War One Collection Part 3 and also The Sun Never Sets. On Gaming with The Shiv, Earl Bick Bickford. I want to say Bickford, but it's not. The Leonidas of ASL. George Chioti Stikangs, George. Two videos. Have track an advanced squad leader. A quick overview. But is it really quick, George? Eh, it's just quick bullet points type thing, or there's gotta be a Bible sized manual just on how to get into a half track. Huh? Alright. Plus, and justice for advanced squad leader. Your honor, advanced squad leader deserves justice. So we can tell George is a freak for advanced squad leader. If I stole George. Tame of Hairbrain Games has one video and he's reviewing Slay the Spire. It's a collection edition or collector's edition. 28 minutes of that, must like it. All right, Timmy. Hex to Hex has one video, it's Last Chance for Victory 1, and it's the game called Gettysburg. I don't know if that's the old game. Is this the old game? No, it's not the old game. You can tell by the counters, but the counters could have been replaced, but also the map is not an old map, but the map could have been replaced. Who knows? Who knows? The Shadow knows. Hex then countered four videos. Oh, uh, let's see here. Old School Tactical, Volume 4, 40 Empire Playthrough Part 2. And Storming the Gap versus Eisenbach Gap. Component Comparison. And I Napoleon Gameplay Part 1. And XCG Football. It's a PC game. First look and gameplay on Hex Encounter. Hexes and Soldiers. Less is Moria. Mmm, he's got some elders there. Uh, oh, he says Moria here. I put the dot dot dot. There sounds it's Lord of the Ringish, but uh, we see. I see elders there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Oh, and hexes and soldiers. <laughs>
ID Jester has eight videos that I could put up on screen here. And uh, boxing is one of them. Boxing is another one. I Napoleon solo first playthrough started the game by Ted Racer and GMT Games. Eh? Plus live open the box skies above the Reich with Jerry White by Jerry White and Mark Astad. And then he goes into Marvel Champions matchup, Thor versus Taskmaster. Then two games on baseball, and then he comes back to Marvel Champions matchup, X-23. Leadership versus Taskmaster. Now, on ID Jester, the man who goes by the name of Jeff has a shellacking's worth of video eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six of them are on Mr. President, and it's turn three and four. Special activation. This is important. Then he's got two videos on Sprig, Sprig, Spring Creek, Millville. 450 race. Holy cow. All right. Well, let's check it out. Okay, where am I? Respect, Jim Ozarkski. Three videos. The Battle of Gross Gorshin. Rules better understood for bloody something. Then the Battle of Gross Gorshin for bloody big battles. Then Abuse on the Muse for O Group. Abuse on the Muse. That's what he's trying to say. You know what I'm saying? For uh, the blood typo. On Jim Ozarkski's channel. Juste garde, the two videos, the Battle of Blenheim 1704 Part 2, Gameplay and Final Thoughts. I had mentioned the seven point hex thing. Uh, I think it's Legion Games. I think so. And if you look closely on the map, you're going to see that there are uh, sections of hexes that comprise seven hexes in each section. Check it out. New Arrivals, Seven Years War Battle System by Minden and Torgau Ad Hoc Games on Juste Garde. Kilroy was here, four videos. I, Napoleon by GMT, an unboxing and an introduction. Plus, Unmatched Sun's Origin, a restoration, unboxing and overview and Twilight 2000 Urban Operation by Free League. And Coffee with Kilroy, my favorite segment. The Game Master's Book of Random Encounters. 
Uh, what is that? Random encounters. Is, uh, for what? Which game? Huh? I don't know. That's just random. Any game. Here's a random encounter. Here, here's a book. Play Mark Simonich's 43. Or 41. Out of 41. 43. 44. Out of 44. And uh, you're gonna throw this book in and uh, random encounter. Well, you're gonna be Godzilla. Come on. Kilroy. Help me here. Uncle Kilroy was here. Jan Heinemann of Let's Play History 3 video Siege of Milano from Fields of Glory. Then. Uh, Strategic Command World War II War in the Pacific Rangoons or something. The Rooker Rooker or Rangoons. I don't know how to speak uh, Deutsch German. And then back to Strategic Command World War II War in the Pacific on Let's Play History. The man who looks like a vampire, Mark Felton of Mark Felton Productions, has two videos. Falkland Fighter with Combat Kills, Sharky Ward, Sea Harrier. You know, I watched a couple of uh, documentaries on the Falklands uh, War, and uh, damn, it's pretty brutal. I mean, the British would have shot at them. Anyways, Herman Goering's Marshal, the Baton, the Marshal's Baton. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hi, I'm a Marshal. Well, here's a Baton with gold and ivory and diamonds and... What? Goddamn criminal. All right, that's what's happening on Marfelton Production. Mike Lambo of Solitaire Book Games has two, one video and it's his first, my first 22 games. Where to start? He has 22 games? This guy's prolific, man. Anyways, Mike Lambo of Solitaire Book Games. Mo of Mo's Game Table Whiskey Charlie Episode 68 The July Show. On my own worst enemy, one video and it's a Coral Sea unboxing and gameplay. I got that game. And it's it's a Campaign Commander Series Volume 2 from Balika Third Generation. I think it's Belika, third generation. Judd Vance gave these guys. Actually, I think this was the game. Gave them a good, uh, a good review, and uh, he says it's pretty good. Nanguaya, four videos. The Austro-Hungarian Second Army mount an attack on Stanislaw. November twenty-sixth, the thirtieth, probably nineteen between nineteen. Uh, 14 and 18. Also, here comes another storm. Yep, we got that storm, uh, Nangui. And November 26th of 30, 1914, Austro-Hungarians nearing the end of their turn and the end of the Austro-Hungarian turn, November 26th of 30, 1914. So, beginning-ish of the war, but we're in it. You know what I'm saying? On Nangui. Patrick's Tactics sent tutorial one video and it's Birdside, Burnside takes command scenario number four campaign game session number two with Patrick Pence playing the Union versus Roger Kittleson playing the Confederate. The Chef Phoenix Knight three videos Mystical Munchies Fried and Dorian Tip Yip. I gotta watch that. Plus Space Corps 2025, 2300 AD 7, 21, 24. A. John Butterfield Game, published by GMT. Plus Terraforming Mars, the dice game. I've got Terraforming Mars, haven't played it yet, heard a lot of great things about it. Poindexter Games, Fleet Commander Nimitz, 3rd edition by DVG. November, December 1942, turn 6 of 6. This is a huge game. Huge! Um, when it came out, it was lukewarm, getting better now in terms of people playing it. Ah, but that's the way it usually is. Prasuta Goose, the Orwell War Gamer, Storm in the East by White Dog Games, Operation Barbarossa, an unboxing. Pushing Cardboard, two videos. All VUCA, all the time, episode 34. So Pushing Cardboard 34, Patrick Geberhard, or Gebhard, 
of Wook All The Time. And for the Empire, an unboxing old school tactical. What? Uh, yep, okay. All right. The Professor Riccardo Mazzini. Two videos. E Jockey Day. Or Del C3i number 37. So games from the C3i magazine number 37. And Warlock 141 C3i 37. Same thing, but in English. And uh, he could do it in French. He could do it in Spanish. And probably in German. The Professor. Black Jay. Ruffy of Rough Swordsman Wargamer has f three videos. The War Room is live. And what to do? What do you do to make your war games fun? Well, play them. And open the box. SOE. Lysander or Lysander. Lysander, I'm going to say. Counters and maps from the historic Wings and Blue Panther. Then again, the War Room is live and plays Wolfpack with designer Mike. Bertuccelli, also the designer of, uh, my god, what's that game? Tank Duel. Nah. Simple History has two videos, Oversized Guns, and when the U.S. allied with North Korea. Did they really? I'm gonna have to check that out. Smart War Games, two videos, Phantom Doctrine gameplay, and Victory at Sea Atlantic, World War II Naval Warfare, content, and gameplay. I'm assuming these are PC games. You know what I'm saying? Video games. Colonel, Colonel Smitty, game table. I think he's a colonel, if I'm not mistaken. Smitty unboxes the Battle of Weiss Fork, the Second Battle of Kingston, March 17th and 9th, 1865, oh, near the end there of the American Civil War, North Carolina, designed by Bill Molino of I Met Bill, nice guy, insurance salesman, and Kim Maintz, Maintz, sorry, Kim, you know, it, it, it throws me off when I get these German I before E, E before I, uh, uh, how to pronounce it type thing, you know what I'm saying? Aye. Steven Dolges, for videos, Axis Empire's Ultimate Edition, a review, because he's been playing this for a while, plus a channel look ahead, and I, Napoleon, turns one and two, and a commentary after a couple of plays on Steven Dolges, and I'm interested. Storm of Steel Wargaming, two videos, a hobby update, and a historical wargaming, a chat, a chat with the Seventh Son and y Yorkshire Gamer. Ah, right. And a Fallout New California and Atomic Bonds expansion. 
Fantasy Flight Games review and how to play. And look at that. I don't know who did. I, I don't know who did this. Hmm. And I'm not gonna take a guess. But have any of you have any of you played Fallout the video game? I have. I loved it. Did you see the uh, the Netflix special or Prime special on Fallout? It's fun. The reason why it's fun for me, first of all, the um, the ghoul is fantastic. It's gory, and it's all the little uh, knickknacks that you find, like Nuka Cola and uh, Nuka Cola caps. And I haven't seen a, a death claw yet, or have I? Anyways, yeah. Cody of the Discriminating Gamer has four videos. Cody looks back at his top 10 games of 2014. I don't get it, but that's interesting. Also, 1812 Napoleon's Fateful March unboxing with Ray. And Starfinder Pirates of Sky Dock. And last but not least, Fractured Sky Unboxing with Ray on the Discriminating Gamer. The Gentleman of the Player's Aid. A Jest of Robin Hood by Freaky Freddy Fred Serval. I say freaky because I'm freaked out. Right? But it's Freddy Fred Serval. And uh, I guess the game is good because it's sold out. Also, The Struggle for New France by Blue Panther and Beware the Ides of March, Hollin Spiele on the player's aid. Gimpy of the Gimpy Gamer 3 videos, Battletech Mercenaries Salvage Box opening, plus Whiskey Charlie, and Polygon says crowdfunding is dying. It still has its thing, come on. Tony of Tony's Board Life has one video and it's Lock and Load Tactical Heroes Against a Red Star Air Assault Turn Number One. You know, Lock and Load Publishing, great system. Great system. That's what I want to say. The cop that is Wayne Hansen. Two videos. A unboxing of Pacific War 1942 Solitaire. A travel war game plus let's play pacific war 1942 solitaire complete playthrough and a mini review wise guy history two videos setting up for war of the ring with three main expansions plus they he reviews war of the ring with all core expansions on wise guy history for our polish viewers voynek tv two videos dale of merchants an unboxing and Napoleon 1807 by Shackles. A review. The Face World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel has one video. I'll say two because one is nine days ago. So it's D Day Dice Second Edition Playthrough Beach 8 Mont Fleury Battery. And a Lone Sherman, a Mike Lambeau game, The Pacific, Tarawa, Red Beach number two. Clear the east of the airfield. You better clear it. And Cutesy Pootsy Zilla Blitz is Song for War. A video called Song for War. Mediterranean designer interview upcoming war games. Invicta Rex Games. Look at that. Huh? These are rugged men. On Zilla Blitz. Howdy folks, Mannering Mike in the Man Cave of Madness. Got a new microphone here, trying it out. Uh, Having a little bit of difficulty, we'll see how good that we do. So, like I said before, uh, sort of on vacation, no new normal content. So we do have signal boost, uh, and then we have two other items. The first item is poll on my channel. Oop, this way. <laughs> so uh, I've been doing a poll for a while, like 11 days here. If you've already done the poll, thank you very much. Um, 
Now what I'm asking is, if you haven't done the poll, go ahead and give it a try. And if you have done the poll, I'd like you to comment on why you chose the answer that you chose. Yes, given these strange little poll questions, there's no right or wrong answer, or is there? But uh, go ahead and say a little word of, of why you chose the one you did. Uh, it can be as simple as random, or you don't remember, or <laughs> you like the color of that one or the other. I know there's no color there, but... Mm -mm. Uh, so that's that's my ask. I'll, I'll keep us open for one more week, and then we'll give the results of the experimental poll. It has something to do with an upcoming segment for my channel. Yeah. Uh, so the next thing I'd like to do is a little signal boost for a game company, OSG, uh, Library No Point Battle. So they're having a sale. This is the announcement of Napoleon's Counter-Strike. The next one will be coming out uh, February of 2025, like on Valentine's Day. 30% off if you pre-order now. Uh, they're having a, another sale here. Most of the things are 20% off, uh, except for one item, the Leipzig uh, 1813. It's only 10% off because they're a short quantity. But So you can get from 10 to 30% off, depending on what you're ordering. And the last thing is... Signal boo. So uh, if you're smart and you've looked and peeked up at the tab up there, you know it is Nanguea. Yes. So many of you already know Nanguea. Uh, Christopher Prest is his name. He's been uh, doing this for over two years. I was over uh, a thousand videos, mostly focused on Der Weltkrieg, uh, his sort of narrative, historical role play style. Uh, and he's been live streaming it for about 18 months. Now, the reason I've, I've signal boosted him before in the past, and he's been covered on, like, uh, Dan Bencaldi's uh, known he's here. His live stream has morphed into much, much less about Darrell Krieg and more about general World War I history. So there's trivia. He covers various uh, period photographs. He talks about... Uh, museum exhibits and various courses and resources online. He looks at like a different World War I game each uh, week on Board Game Geek. Uh, we've talked about and followed a lot on the new game coming out eventually from Paul Hederer, the Prelude to Bretzkrieg. He's been on the channel. He'll be on the channel again. Uh, there's a lot of good general World War I content there. So if you haven't checked out uh, Nanguea's channel at all, also, for uh, his videos, he's also started covering uh, Soldiers, a, a tactical uh, game from SPI. So it's not just uh, gameplay of uh, Der Weltkrieg, but he's branched out into other games. And the live stream weekly, Saturday mornings, a lot of focus on general World War I history. So that is my signal boost for this week. Hopefully next week I'll return to more normal content be off of my vacation so i'm going to send it back to all you folks watching dan piccoli's no enemies here and if you're watching this on my channel thank you for watching i appreciate it if you subscribe and all that and don't forget to do that poll so take care y'all and ciao another week another show <clears throat> thanks for watching please like subscribe and support this channel Everything is going to go back to normal. The show will happen on Saturday morning, Friday evening, next week. Something happened, then nothing happened. That's what I'm saying. So, um, Ken of Seek Out and Play. Ken, um, the video you sent me, there was an expiry date. Today I went on it and I wasn't, I wasn't able to uh, see what's going on. And I, I tried to write to you, and uh, Sunday, I figured maybe you'll get it, and you will send it to me before I finish the show. I finish the show, sorry. Um, I'll make it up to you next week by uh, saying hi. So, that's it. And um, it's Sunday. A new work week begins tomorrow and life goes on. Everybody take care. Again, thank you very much for watching this show and for keeping it going for seven years. Ciao.